I've got a question from you guys earlier before about uh, my hoops. What kind of hoops do I use, size, and um, how I manage to put fabric inside. It's very, very easy. And uh, first of all, these hoops are smaller than others I use, but I have all size, all sizes. And uh, because I stitch big uh, dimension kits and smaller ones and mirabilia, I have pretty much all sizes of uh, DMC, DMC and Nurgia uh, hoops. They are my favorite. Also, I like wooden ones because they. I don't know, they're probably the same if you judge them by attention, but uh, I just like the touch, I just like uh, the look, I like everything more uh, when I use wooden hoops. So how to use them? It's very, very easy. Again, you put the uh, circle without uh, the screw, you put it under. And uh, because I will be working on this part, I just uh, see and feel where the circle is. And uh, this one with a screw going on top. And before I use my stand, I try not to put uh, this screw on top. But uh, if you want, you can put it on top. doesn't matter, to be honest. Just don't put it right here somewhere. Don't make it like that or this way, because when you will be stitching, you will always uh, stuck with your thread. That's why either here, here or this side. So I just put it on. And because I have it very, very... It's a, <laughs> my screw is tight, really tight, and uh, you will see tension on my hoops will be as tight as it should be, as I like. And slowly, slowly you stretch your fabric and uh, don't be scared if you will be a little bit more rough than usual, it's okay. Sometimes my fingers here, my thumbs, they're in pain because I do it quite often and I like my fabric being really stretch and tension like a drum. So this is how I like and um, this is perfect right now. If you want to make it tighter, do not use your fingers because it will be uh, you will struggle later. Uh, there is a little tip, you see, it's a screw, regular screw. Sometimes it's a star, sometimes a regular one, half regular one right here. And you just take a screwdriver and uh, just turn, make it tighter. And you can stretch your fabric one more time. Susie came over. She's moving my tripod and now it's perfect. Again, I have lots of questions about my stitchers under this uh, hoops or Q-snap or frame or whatever. Usually frame, you don't touch your stitches, but do not worry. Do not worry. After a while, after one day, two days, it will come back. If it will not come back, you can iron from another side. But if you're going to wash your work, and I would advise you, if you can always wash your work, don't worry, it, even your stitches will be better than now. That's why this is my advice for you. Stitch, make, as tight, uh, make your fabric as tight as possible, and just don't worry. Also, I promise you before to show my these organizers as well, or clippers, or I don't know how you call them. And I finally use them. I managed to find out how they are working. So this uh, ends, uh, they should be under, because if they will be on top, you always will uh, stuck with your thread again. This extra fabric, either you have it like that, or 
again, I don't like when it's uh, just uh, wingling, or how you call it. <laughs> I just put it a few more times all together, like that. If I will be stitching here somewhere, then I leave it space, leave the space for for yourself to stitch, and uh, it's perfect. Really, it's perfect. Uh, first of all, you can put here your needles because it's there is a magnet inside. Second of all, it's all well organized and you can also put this side the same way. But to be honest, it's more for bigger uh, piece of fabric. I'm just showing you as an example. Uh, smaller ones, you don't even need to do anything. Sometimes I do it with a needle. Like, uh, in a second, I have a needle right here. Like that but if you have a huge piece of fabric you won't be able to do that and uh, again you can move this this needle minders anywhere you want and it's just perfect it makes my life easier again especially when you stitch much bigger designs and this one this one you don't need anything maybe sometimes needles and that's it okay i hope you understood what I wanted to tell you, and uh, I come back to you later. Right, this is behind uh, my camera. Actually, I will have tripod over here, and I will sit on a couch. And here is my laptop. Usually, Susie is by me, but my boys are watching a movie in another room, and they took her so she can sleep with them. And uh, yeah, I'm very lucky to have this lamp because I can make videos now during the day and uh, during the night, always have perfect light. Actually, it's very comfortable even uh, to stitch with this lamp, but I don't like to have too much around me because then I feel like I'm in a studio. So over here, I supposed to stitch uh, with half stitch. I stitch it a little bit different. I think you call it a continental stitch. I could be wrong, uh, please correct me. But while I'll be stitching, you will understand what I will be doing. And this is the key of my kit. It's actually one of the easiest <laughs> design of stitch from Dimensions Gold Collection. And I would like to show you now, first of all, how I uh, stitch my half uh, stitches. Yes, I mentioned before. And um, this is a symbol I will be stitching. And uh, I know some people who are new to cross stitch. And uh, when you're working with a key, this is a symbol and you look up, it's written in English and I think Spanish or yeah, probably Spanish. Half cross stitch, you have another part of the chart where is a, an instruction that shows how you have to stitch it and uh, you can see here two and two what does it mean it means that you take two threads of uh, 61 64 and two threads of thread 17050 and you put them together you make a blend where it is i just prepare myself yes it's right here so I'll show you how it looks like before I put in the needle. So it looks like that. You can see here two strands of uh, 1705 zero and uh, 6164. You just put it in a needle and you stitch. I'll be stitching right now. Then I will be stitching my back stitch and uh, on a chart on the chart, it's a thick black line right here. You can see the number 15356. And uh, I'll show you how I do that, because here you have to stitch with two strands of thread. Back stitch, it's written here, back stitch. Sometimes back stitch uh, change to couching because it's easier. And I'll show you this as well. Maybe not in this video, later on. Okay. So now I'm supposed to make my back stitch over here. 
and I supposed to make it uh, with a two strands of uh, thread as I mentioned before but I will be making it first with one and then on top of it I will go with another uh, I go another time uh, over my back stitch because it will give me smooth line and it's always a half knot when I show on a camera always it must be let me move camera over here and uh, I will make it as closer as possible so you will understand what I'm stitching first you have to make micro stitch so you're either you do it on a back or on a front side you fix your thread I do it by micro stitch very little one and on top of it you do your stitch because on a chart it shown me how to make it this way then I continue on doing my back stitch but again I do it uh, with a one thread of thread if you have longer back stitch it's uh, it will be better because you will not see these holes but because I don't have much you just some grass you might will not see so much difference but uh, I'll show you maybe in other example just want to give you an idea how I how you do that anyway it always look better when you work this way and sometimes you don't put your needle right here where you've done it for the first time just go a little bit up I know it's Ada and on Ada it's hard to place your thread uh, that's uh, not where holes that's why you use either sewing needles or needles for beads this one is for the beads it's very tiny little one I could not find just before the video but I usually use uh, sewing needles they're more comfortable to work with because they are big and you don't have to put so much uh, pressure you just insert insert it as it is and uh, you continue doing your grass I will reply to some of your questions uh, my uh, early videos I I said why guys not commenting my videos when I open it uh, just now before the video you see it's hard for me because this, the um, needle it's very tiny and uh, something come up I should have taken uh, another needle to show you this better anyway by uh, working this way you will have holes in different uh, locations and uh, your grass will be more natural not like uh, you will compare right now again this is not the best example to show you but as you can see i had three holes and from far you will see better you see it's more smooth this line is more smooth than this one you see the holes right here Yes, it will take uh, more time, but uh, the quality of your stitches will be better when you see it from far. Can you see these holes as on the right side? Obviously not, because uh, stitching back stitch with one strand of thread gives you more, um, not power, but uh, gives you better result. Okay, so I will make it closer and I will replace um, I will replace needle because I don't like to stitch uh, this one is uh, best for um, linen <laughs> guys I just came back from work it's very late forget words and uh, I leave it right here but I give you the option 
Maybe you will like uh, you would like to work with a bit uh, needle better, but my favorite is a sewing one. I use cream on my hands as well. I wash my hands always before I stitch, especially when you're working with um, linen, hand dyed linen. You cannot uh, wash your and dyed threads and again the same uh, fabric that's why you have to keep your hands always clean not just uh, during our time now but uh, always and again i stitch with one thread and then i go just a little bit more down where I supposed to have a hole and don't afraid if your stitches will be not exactly as a chart because you know this is a grass same will be with my branches it's a tree it's growing naturally and it's not always exactly the same but again if you check the result of my back stitch here and another part you will see it's different you can correct your stitches with a thread if you don't like uh, with a needle if you don't like it but uh, just uh, try to work this way you will see your result will be much better i don't do it always but i try to because it takes more time This one is easy, just one stitch. Dimensions loves back stitch. They put back stitch everywhere. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> anyway, this is the back stitch I wanted to show you. I don't want to spend so much time. And I hope you understood. If you not, I will make another video. I will show you how you, I work with uh, different uh, back stitch. Now I'm stitching my half stitches with uh, four strands of thread. And uh, I want to show you how I fix my thread because I've been asked many, many times, show me how you do that. And I used to make uh, micro stitch but i don't do it anymore it's visible on the side on the front side that's why i just make my first stitch as usual and i leave the end like now after you stitch something else maybe it will be back stitch on top or something else and uh, this end of the thread will be fixed by itself if not, you can take a, a special tool and you put under the stitches this end. Or you can take um, one thread, make a loop method and put under, under the stitches. I'll show you again <laughs> uh, later on. Depends how it will go. So I, I stitch as normal. Just first stitch would be very careful so your uh, end of the thread will not go out otherwise you have to do it again and i will reply to some of your questions people ask me what i like to stitch more mirabilia or dimensions <laughs> you know i'm a big fan of uh, both of the companies they are very different you can compare them it's like uh, apples and oranges but sometimes i need uh, size so i like to stitch bigger pieces uh, large pieces and sometimes i just want to have something smaller and uh, i would not say that i spent very little time for my mirabilis no some of them very big and uh, i could have stitched uh, regular dimensions called collection because there are lots of uh, petites lots of uh, beads you stitch on top and I stitch them twice and uh, yeah as you can see right now I don't do 
regular half stitches I do continental stitch I think you call it this way and uh, I think this year I will have very few mirabilia stitched just because I started lots of dimensions before and I don't want them just be open and laying in my stash I, I like to finish projects I started before but again if I would like to start something I will not stop myself the thing is with mirabilia lately that too many people starting them and uh, I lose my appetite I lose my mood and uh, yeah, but in the future I will not mind to stitch with all people. It just for now my mood is like that. Either I have to stop uh, checking my Instagram or I have to I have to think about this different. For now I I enjoy stitching dimensions and I'll come back to Mirabilia. Next year I will have like 50-50, I think. Another question I had, I have from you, it's um, about my travelings, which places I like to visit. And uh, I did not really understand uh, exactly uh, the question, but uh, I thought maybe which part of the world I like to visit. To me, it's very different. I like everything. I even like to travel inside Ukraine. Um, after being many, many times overseas, I, I would I would be honest with you, Ukraine not the prettiest country to me. It's pretty. It has its own beauty, but uh, nothing like wow, you know, like super wow. When you, if you travel. Uh, before and you've been in Asia and uh, you know some places just breathtaking Ukraine has its own beauty definitely but uh, I enjoy every single moment I have if I travel here I I enjoy it if I travel somewhere else I enjoy that part of the world if I had a chance where to go to I would like to go somewhere where people did not travel often and I would like uh, just discover places by my own without uh, just maybe if I went with my husband, just go and discover by yourself, walk. It's the best time for me if I don't have any plan. I just walk wherever <laughs> and uh, see some places, even though they're not some uh, famous, but I meditate same time. Okay, let me see, three, four, yeah, I I find later later that um, walking wherever I am, I like sometimes by myself even, when my husband is tired after meetings, I will go somewhere and uh, just take my phone because on the way back I need, I need Google map to come back home. I remember in Thailand, I was walking a lot and I hurt my feet with the shoes and it was, uh, I was coming back and I don't know why, was it late or uh, taxi was not working, maybe it was very late and I was walking, 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 it's so hot and uh, even I found taxi later, I did not want to go by taxi I just want to go home and uh, I remember the time very well I remember my thoughts my my mood and everything and uh, you see something uh, where is normal tourists will not see I once was pregnant and I once <laughs> I, I was pregnant and I love walking the time. Also remember every single walk I had. If I can run, I walk. And uh, unfortunately, now we are limited with our activities. 
So sometimes I stitch and I'm thinking about me walking somewhere. But uh, yeah, I have my favorite places where I would like to go. It's some islands in the Indian Sea, Indian Ocean, sorry. I would like to go to South America. I still have Peru in my wish list, wish list. Those places very exotic and uh, far from me. Also would like to go to New Zealand, to Fiji. I've never been to Australia. Some islands where it's hard to go. I know there are islands in between um, Asia and India, and they're you know, even not allowed to go. Only you, you only can go there by boat, planes not flying there, and you're not allowed to go there. I fix my thread regularly under the stitches and uh, I cut extra thread. I have all the way up there, just stitching by half stitch, half stitch. I might well make few videos every single day then. <laughs> so you can ask me questions while I'll be stitching, I'll answer and uh, we will get to know each other better. Also, let me know what you're teaching now and how you spend your free time, what you do extra. While you're looking at my cross stitch, I wanted to share with you some info. Under circumstance, we have to stay at home and uh, unfortunately, small businesses are suffering now and uh, I was living in Las Vegas for a few months uh, in 2016, 2000, yeah, 2016, and I was going to LNS store every Saturday. It was one of my best time. I remember it very well. And now I um, wanted uh, to support this store. Maybe you would like to order a couple of threads or maybe some linen to have uh, great variety of uh, cross stitch uh, supplies and uh, I will leave you link uh, below my video in description box uh, please support them and uh, I hope you all are doing well even it's hard time right now but uh, we all like to shop and <laughs> once in a while I also like to support uh, cross stitch stores also, there is another store in Canada, if you are from that part of the world, called uh, Traditional Stitches. They are located in Alberta, in Calgary. Please support them as well. But uh, right now, I think they ship only to Canada and to United States. But things get change and uh, before they ship worldwide, worldwide, just ask them before if they ship to your country. My favorite <laughs> kitty, thank you very much. You always um, comment my videos and uh, I know you're working there. That's why I um, wanted to support this store as well. And if you know other LNS stores, please write under my video I will mention them as well, either in my future videos or I will leave a link in my description box. So I hope you all healthy and uh, be strong. This time will end and uh, we will soon forget this terrible time. I hope you enjoy my video. I'll come back to you very, very soon. I'll show you all I've stitched during this time and I stitch a lot. So stay tuned. Bye bye.